This is Lobby Designs here, um, and welcome to a tutorial on how to do some um, 3D graffiti art. Um, just mind my fan, um, it is, uh, I'm simulating something, so just kind of ignore that. Um, uh, so yeah, um, in this tutorial I'll just be telling you or showing you how to make a nice um, graffiti text in Cinema 4D. I'll be, I'll be including all the materials I make, but you can just copy yourself, so um, it doesn't really matter. Um, first of all, I'm just going to be using a uh, lighting scene. I will put this up for upload. Um, this isn't Grayscale Gorillas. Yeah. I made it myself. There's nothing against. Um, there's no copyright or anything. Nobody's going to be losing money. This is my own, so don't bloody whinge. Um, because yeah, the, the, it, it's all my own crap. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now I will be using a font called. Uh, race one um, which is a kind of graffiti font so yeah so to start off you want to go to MoGraph, Mo text uh, drag it to the middle so about there hit that then go to middle and that'll align it in the middle drag it up make the height a bit bigger so that's a nice size. Now we'll, I'll just type in Lopu, then I'll go to font, and I'll just search race. So R A S E. Um, I'll I'll put the link um to this font uh up for you, so you guys can download it and uh, use that. So as you can see, it's a, it's a really kind of um graffiti uh, font, which uh which is basically already kind of graffiti and stuff like that. So now with the Motex selected, go to MoGraph, Effector, and then hit Random. Now that'll randomize uh, all the stuff. I've done a bit of work with uh, the random um, thing on some of my other tutorials. Uh, so yeah, you, you should be pretty familiar with that. Now I'll chuck the depth up on the Motex and yeah, so now in random, just want to go to rotation, then for P, just turn that up a bit and we'll do a bit of H. Well, yeah. Uh, now just with the strength, bring that down a bit, just to whatever you want, so that it, it's moved a bit, but it's not as strong. So that's that's all good and done. Um, now for the, uh, for the material, uh, I'll probably use... I'll be using a nice kind of orange. So I'll just go to, actually I might use a um, kind of lime green. So I'll just use that, I'll go to luminance, get onto the nice green, check the brightness down to maybe, I'll show you there, take specular off, uh, reflection, make that again, nice kind of lime green change that down to about there and that's a uh, that's a nice um, it's a nice material so now if we render this out um, we'll just change the render setting so we'll put an effect on global illumination uh, color uh, color correction um, and uh, ambient occlusion so this will make the render time pretty long, um, but it'll, it'll be worth it. So then just change these to low. Uh, you'll notice I ticked auto save because sometimes it gets buggy with that, um, with some of the uh, some of the um, things, uh, some of the uh, files that are uh, linked to the materials. So yeah, now if we just render this out. Now you'll see it already looks pretty nice. And my fan is going spaz. So, yeah. Hey guys, so you can basically see that, so I won't render the rest, even though it'll be pretty quick. No, you should, it'll be probably done in a little bit. But I might chuck the depth up a bit more just to give it that really nice like, graffiti effect. Uh, so now, 
Do we just want to go to the Motex? Control C, V it. Um, make it a bit. Oh, actually, no, we won't make it bigger. We'll actually change the depth to 600. Oh, sorry. 650. And then we're going to want to actually drag it back just a bit. And then delete that material on it. Then just go to caps, hit fill it cap, fill it cap, and that'll give it a nice kind of outline. Now for this material, uh, we're going to want a nice uh, kind of white, uh, but kind of grey uh, shine. And so we'll put some luminance on it, down a bit, which will go up, uh, and then the reflection will have that pretty white as well, but just there. Take specular off, because I'm actually not a big fan of specular. I don't like it very much. Uh, so yeah, whoops. So we'll just chuck that up there. Now if we hit render, you'll see that it already looks pretty nice. Just bear with me while this takes a while. Do -do -do -do. So yeah, I'm um, also, like I say in most of my other videos, if you could please like, favorite, share, tell your friends, because, I mean, I'm, I'm, well, I don't want to boast, but I, well, actually, I, I'm not going to say it, because I only have 10 subscribers, but, I mean, it, it seems like, uh, kind of a few years ago, or even in the past seven months, um, it was a lot easier to kind of get people, because um, graphics has, I guess, become a lot more easy to do. And to kind of master so yeah but I mean I wouldn't call myself like a, a piece of shit because I, I've seen graphics channels that are horrible and I'm, a, I'm actually uh, making a background for a pretty popular channel um, so you guys will see that in the next few days I might make a speed out of it I haven't actually filmed the first part but maybe I'll do a progression uh, so yeah so yeah, in this render, you'll see that that already is looking pretty nice. Um, and yeah. So yeah, that, that's, that's looking pretty good. Now if we just click there, and if we just copy this, then delete that, and then we'll copy this material and make it a more kind of uh, blackish color. So change all of the... Um, colors and, and stuff like that down to a nice good gray so then we'll put that on there and then this one we're going to want to move back even further so actually quite a bit and then we'll hit C on it and then we should be able to yeah so we can select each uh, each letter um, differently so if we just drag that over a bit actually make the size a bit bigger and then drag it over some more and then if I put that forward and across kind of like that then you'll see that, that already gives a um, kind of nice effect there so now if we get the O we can just make that bigger and then turn it a bit and then bring it across and up and then we go to the P. Now basically just do the same for all the letters. So just make it a bit bigger. Maybe turn it forward again. And then left like that. And then you can bring it down. And then for the U. This one will basically do the same. I don't even know why I'm talking or telling you guys this. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. We'll actually bring that a bit that way and then down so that's a that's a pretty cool kind of effect so we just render that out that'll look pretty nice da, 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 da. Um, if you want to uh, add sorry if you want to add objects kind of around here you can do that um, but yeah so now I'll actually render this out and then we'll go to the Photoshop stage of this. Uh, 
alrighty so then just go to your output sorry save change that to PNG God. Uh, and make sure you have alpha channel ticked because uh, that'll make it have a kind of transparent background and that's also why you're using PNG uh, then I'll just save it, actually I'll save it in here um, Waku uh, Graph Save Now check all, make sure all these are good uh, Do I have it on the low? Yes I do Okay, so now we'll render that out and um, I'll be back in a GIF.